welcome back and if you are new here welcome here in this channel we'll talk about relaxed hair care hair growth tips protective styling and so much more concerning the hair topic in general so if you know you're interested in this type of content please consider subscribing to join the family so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys the relaxed hair regimen that got me to my current length so this is how my hair currently looks like at the moment and as at my last length check i was about one inch away from hip length so i'm going to be sharing with you guys the regimen i use to grow my hair to this length so the regimen i use to grow my hair from scalp length because i actually started from scratch in my hair journey which i started eight years ago i started from scratch and the regimen i used to grow my hair from scalp length to mid back length is not the same regimen i used to grow my hair from mid back length to waist length and the regimen i used to grow my hair from mid back length to waist length is not the same regimen i used to grow my hair from waist length to table length so what i'm just trying to say is as your hair grows longer your regimen may have to change because the same hair care you use for your short term may not work when trying to grow longer hair so that's why after many trials experimentations i have learned to adapt and modify my regimen according to my hair length and according to my hair needs so for the regimen i used to grow my hair from scalp length to mid back length to waist length i've shared that in previous videos so you can check out those videos if you're interested what i'm going to be discussing today is the regimen that helped me to grow my hair to almost table length so if you do not know or as you may already know if you've been following me i am a huge fan of protective styling and stretching my relaxers when i first started my hair journey my whole regimen and routine actually revolves around protective styling and stretching my relaxers so even though i've modified my regimen as my hair grew longer all the regimens i've used previously and now still revolves around protective styling and stretching my relaxers the only difference is the duration and the type of protective styles and the length of the relaxer stretches so when i first started my hair journey i was initially living in my protective styles for six weeks and back then i did only braids and twists so box braids and twists those were the only protective styles i was doing back then i was not using wigs i was not using sew-ins i used that for about two to three years before i eventually started using sew-ins and i started using wigs fully only last year and when i talk about protective styles i mean long-term protective styles so that include box braids twists sew-ins wigs crochet but i've not done crochet in a long time and that's because when i tried crochet i had a lot of hair loss and it may actually be to the fact that the crochet i used back then was heavy weighted compared to the density of my hair but after that i have not tried crochet again so maybe i'll try it again someday and this time i'll decide to use a lightweight crochet so like i said when i first started i was living in my protective styles for six weeks and stretching my relaxers for three months so that was the regimen i used for the first few years of my hair journey before i got stuck at a plate two at mid back length you know trying to grow my hair from that plate two is the most will i say stressful obstacle i have had to encounter in my hair journey because after that my hair just flourished until i got to my current length because when i got to that plate two and that length was when i realized that the same regimen that helped me grow my hair to that length may not work when trying to grow my hair away from that length so as my hair grew longer i made more changes to my regimen modified my regimen and my hair has loved the process so far so when i got to that plateau i did a lot of things i switched from relaxer there was even a time i was relaxing my hair i think every six weeks or every two months i used more heat on my hair during that period i moisturized my hair every day during that period i washed and conditioned my hair every week sometimes two weeks i think during the entire period of my hair journey that was the time i manipulated my hair the most because i was desperate to grow my hair from that length so i was trying every single thing and after trying that you know moisturizing every day washing my hair every week relaxing my hair more frequently and i was i wasn't even in any form of long-term protective styles then so my hair would always be in a bun 
I did that I used that regimen for about six months and I noticed no changes so after that I went further I researched and that was when I decided to bring back my old regimen but what I did was to increase the duration of my protective styles and increase my relaxer stretches so from six weeks i moved to living on my protective styles for two months from two months to three months from three months sometimes i will leave my protective styles on now for as long as four months and that was also the time i started stretching my relaxers for six months i went from three months to four months then to six months i don't know if there was a time i relaxed my head at five months so i was stretching my hair at six months and leaving on my protective styles for about three to four months to grow my hair from mid back length to waist length now to grow my hair from waist length to hip length i used a different regimen but this was just a modification of my previous regimen so all i did was to stretch my relaxer from six months to eight months and also leave my protective styles in for three to four months so from waist length down my major changes way to my relaxer stretching so from mid back length to my current length i made no major changes to my protective style duration so from then to now i have always been leaving my protective styles in from between three to four months the major changes were to my relaxer stretches so after i got to waistlet i did an eight month relaxer stretch with protective styles which took me from waist length to hip length and after I got to hip length. I got so excited and decided to go on an, another eight month relaxer stretch, but things didn't go as planned, so I eventually relaxed my hair at one year. So after that one year relaxer stretch, my hair moved from hip length to almost tail bow length. So that's how I grew my hair to almost tail bow length with majorly protective styles and relaxer stretching. My hair is currently, I think, eight weeks as two months post relaxer right now if i'm not mistaken i'm going to be relaxing my hair very soon which is also going to be a corrective relaxer because i have a bit of unprocessed and under processed hair in this region of my hair so make sure to stay tuned for that so those were the major things like i said in my regimen there are other things that were incorporated into my regimen minor things like my washes moisturizing and sealing my trims cleansing my scalp oiling my scalp and all that conditioning but all these actually depends on my protective styles the duration of my protective styles and my relaxer stretches so i may be in the form of protective style and moisturize and seal my hair like four times in the whole protective style maybe in a protective style for four months and not wash my hair until after i take that, that protective style then i wash and condition my hair before installing the next protective style but between the four months i have a way of keeping my scalp clean without washing my hair so i use the method of methylated spirit i'll continue which i've shared on my channel before so you can check out that video if you are interested there are other methods of keeping your scalp clean without having to wash your hair i've heard of using dry shampoos apple cider vinegar which has a spray so the fact that i don't wash my hair when i'm in the long-term protective style does not mean that i completely neglect my scalp i still clean my scalp and moisturize and seal my hair when necessary do not that frequently i only do that when i feel my hair is dry so let's just say i don't do prophylactic moisturizing and sealing meaning i don't moisturize and seal my hair in order to prevent dryness what i do is i always observe my hair and when i feel like it's getting dry i don't wait for it to get completely dry when i feel it's getting a bit dry then i go then i go in to moisturize and seal and i've noticed that when in long term protective styles my hair tends to get less dry compared to when i just leave my hair down like this so my hair may not need moisturizing as frequently compared to when i leave my hair down like this so my hair has been in a short term protective style ever since the last relaxer i've always been putting my hair in a bone so within these two months i've moisturized my hair quite a number of times not with a moisturizer i use my i've been using my heat protectant to moisturize and i think i've moisturized more than 
10 times if i'm not mistaken or around 10 times there about compared to if my hair was in a protective style like a long hair protective style i'm sure i would have moisturized my hair at most just twice by now so that is for my moisturizing routine and my wash routine everything revolves around when i decide to take down my protective style how long i decide to live in my protective style as for conditioning i do that when i wash my hair as for trims now this is something i didn't take seriously during the last few years i think prior to my last trim the trim i had before that was about two years my hair was literally crying for a trim but i couldn't trim through due to some factors if you've been following me and an og you know why i was not able to trim my hair during those times but i eventually got a little trim during my last relaxer routine i was I didn't have the guts to cut off a big chunk of hair so I decided instead of just going in to cut off about 5 inches of hair I'm just going to trim off gradually so that would be like 1 inch or half an inch every 3 months I feel with that my ends will become better so that's it so I've covered my protective style, relaxer stretches, trimming, washing, conditioning, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. As for using heat on my hair, I don't do it frequently, I do it only when I relax my hair. So many in the last one year, I've used heat on my hair just once because I told you guys that I was on a one year relaxer stretch, which I eventually ended about two months ago when I relaxed my hair and that was when I used heat on my hair. So the only time I use heat on my hair is when I relax my hair now as for my products i have an old video where i talked about my hair care product but since then i've used a lot of new products which i've shared on the channel but i've not really made a new video where i talked about all the products in one video so i'm definitely going to make a new video on that where i talk about all the current products i use but in case you're interested to find out before the video comes out most of my products are linked down in the description box below so you can check them out if you are interested Interested. So yeah guys, that is the regimen that helped me grow my hair to this length I know I said I was not going to talk about the regimen that grew my hair to mid back length and to waist length But I just found myself talking more than usual So at least if you are new here, you have a grasp of how my hair journey has been like so far And the different regimens I use to grow my hair from scalp length to almost table length in eight years so that's it for this video if you have any questions concerning my regimen my routines anything you'd like to find out please make sure to leave them down in the comment section down below and i'll make sure to get back to you so yeah guys that's it for this video if you watched it this far and you enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you are new here i aren't subscribed please consider subscribing to join the family and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever i upload a new video so yeah guys, thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!